Remember the story of Goldilocks and the three bears? She found their habitat too hot or too hard and then just right. Well, scientists look at outer space in the same way. Some planets are way too hot. Others are too cold. But some are just right to support life as we know it. How many inhabitable planets could really be out there? We have here about a million grains of rice, and we can imagine that each one of these grains of rice represents a star within the Milky Way galaxy. Of these millions of stars, 20% have planets. So here we have 200,000 grains of rice representing those stars with planets. If 10% of those stars have small, rocky planets like Earth that fly within the Goldilocks zone, that leaves us with about 20,000 stars. Scientists estimate that 1% of those stars might actually have rocky planets like Earth, leaving us with 200 grains of rice. And now imagine that only 1% of them actually has life on them. That leaves us with a mere two grains of rice representing the planets that actually harbor life. But our Milky Way galaxy contains 100 billion stars, not the million grains of rice we started with. And scaling up tells us that our Milky Way galaxy actually contains 200,000 inhabited planets. So like Goldilocks, maybe we humans will someday find a new planet that feels just right and move right in. The universe, now you know.